What's up guys, welcome back, OCG Meta Game Breakdown for October 2019. So pretty much end of October, the second week again, although the second week uh, in, in the uh, new OCG format. So let's take a look again, all the links will be in the video description. Road of the King, ready for duel, etc. So first of all, before you start, an announcement. So this week, uh, at least this weekend, we have YCS London coming up and uh, Konami invited me for the uh, commentary stream. So the commentary live stream, I'll be, jo you know, joining uh, Marcelo, Marcelo Barberi for the stream and commentating a couple of matches throughout uh, day one and day two. So that's pretty cool, very exciting. Looking forward to that since that's my first time, you know, like like live stream, um, at least uh, official live stream that is. So again, um, the con yeah, coverage will be uh, in the video description as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Maybe see you in London this weekend. Back to the OCG meta game. So again, uh, Road of the King, first of all, the new uh, product release being Ignition Assault. So the next set after our, our you know, our current TCG set being released and a couple of cards caught my attention, a couple of tech cards as well, like Clothip, the new uh, Gizmec card, for example, and others, as you'll be seeing within the next couple of moments, like the new Heavy Storm, Harpies, Feather Duster alike cards, the new archetypes, how are they doing like uh, Ignister, um, the Karakuri as well, the new Karakuri support, etc. So again, let's take a look, right? Metagame, re Metagame report number two, and as you see, the format is quite diverse currently in the OCG. It's still week two though, but um, again, the diversity is quite strong with Orcus, Salamangrate and Thunder being pretty much, uh, st having pretty much the same representation. But followed by a deck we had like a huge problem with last year featuring, yeah, you know, Dark World, Danger, uh, Gumlar, Slash Draw, FDK and I've already mentioned the card but the Gumblar is still legal in the OCG for whatever reason um, you know it doesn't really make sense where they're waiting because of the danger cards anyway so Dark World Danger uh, with Gumblar uh, Omega Hand Loop is, um, is is going strong it's on the rise and then followed by Altergeist Mythical Beast and Demon being Pendulums and Sky Strikers notable is they got a new card in Ignition Assault as well being the Sky Striker Rose so anyway, let's start off with the Orcus deck, the, uh, this week's uh, featured Orcus deck. Um, no spectacular surprises, I guess. It's also running, um, well, no dangers, right? That seems uh, quite important, you know, no uh, nightmare. But running the level 1 Orcus tuner, of course, it's running the crackdowns here in the main deck. And the most notable um, thing, tech card, I guess, is that this particular build is running the Unchained Abomination, which is, as you know, the link 4 of the Unchained archetype it's a dark right so it can be summoned after you let's say you stop an Orcus Banish effect if you're locked in into Dark Summons. So let's say during your opponent's turn using the IP Mascarina and then Link Summon during your opponent's turn and then using your Unchained Abomination, the Link 4 to pop something and if it survives the end phase you can pop something, uh, you know, like, like pop a second card. So in theory that's definitely uh, quite of a nice deck. So yeah, Orcus, but well, nothing I can change, or at least nothing I can say more about that. Let's go to Salomon Great. Salomon Great, um, as you know, the OCG format, they still have Triple Circle in the main neck next to the Cyanid Mining for some extra searches, increases the consistency of the deck. And uh, this particular build also up to main, uh, up to main deck, the double uh, Nobleman as well. And one Nibiru, that's interesting. We've seen more lists in the OCG just main decking one Nibiru. It's either, you know, you're opening with one or you don't really want to see it after that, I guess. So that, that pretty much explains it, I feel. So the tech one and Nibiru might seem cool, but the triple mind control as well, we've seen it from worlds. And uh, most notable card here in the extra deck being, uh, at least in the side deck that is, is a new Gizmec card. The Nuclear Emperor, I believe the name is. As you know, when it's like in your hand, and correct me if I'm wrong, you can summon it to your side of the field by uh, equipping a, a monster in the extra monster zone. So it's like an easy out for your opponent's uh, Thunder Dragon, Colossus in the extra monster zone, or the Sky Striker Link monster. So definitely one of the more interesting cards coming out in uh, Ignition Assault. So the new set that will be released um, like in three months. 
here in the TCG. Another card here, and you know, it's like a high and highly anticipated card being the uh, Lightning Storm. You know, the Rageki, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster alike card. Very similar to evenly matched, I guess. This particular Salaman Great List decided to side the kit again, just in case of going second, but it feels quite iffy. And um, you know, there was a lot of uh, debate around the card, the next broken card, but it seems okay, I guess, even though it's quite of a powerful effect. The restriction does hurt it a lot, and uh, yeah, again, is it better than evenly matched or not? So that's 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 a, the that's like a tough or an iffy question. Thunder Dragons. So Thunder Dragons again. It's it's. Well, it's pure Thunder Dragons, I guess. Same for us TCG players, even though uh, the OCG just got their Danger cards a couple of weeks ago. They're still opting to go for the pure build. This particular build also opted to run the Triple Crackdown in the main deck. So again, more traps here in the main deck. And of course, not to forget Triple Maxi. And something not to forget as well is they still have only one Colossus, right? The Mascarina in the extra deck. And oh, here it is, one of my favorite cards in Ignition Assault, Ignition Assault being the Claw Thief. As you know, um, the new, at least one of the best Link monsters are one of the best cards definitely coming up in the new set. Three months still for us TCG players, but it's very generic, it's super easy to make and it definitely supports more supports like Fusion decks. I'm looking at Instant Fusion and Thunders as well, for example. Uh, Shadows maybe, but you know, it, it's definitely a very solid card, the Cloth Deep. So definitely um, looking forward how this card is going to impact the format even more. And this particular list also opted to run the Triple Gizmec, the new Gizmec here in the extra deck, um, at least yeah, the side deck as well. So again, um, seems like a semi-staple alike card, no? In, in certain matchups. Then, this unholy abomination, we have Danger Dark World, a deck that was pretty much relevant at YCS London last year, I remember the FTK back then. And now it's 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 very much live in the OCG. And let's not forget, they have Triple Pot of Everest in the main deck. <laughs> At least they're allowed to play Triple Pot of Everest. And uh, as you know, as a thought and Nair like can instantly shut down your opponent's monsters effect. So no hand traps, no Nibiru. Just go for Azathoth. And this deck, you know, you can go for Azathoth with the greatest of ease and follow it up with a curious play or whatever. So Danger Dark World <laughs> and Topologic Logic and Omega. That's basically the deck. Just uh, get rid of your opponent's hand, so nothing new I guess. Altergeist as well, it's doing okay, but it's like uh, top 5-ish, maybe out of the top 5, but it's it's fine I guess. The Road of the King is mentioning the secure uh, Gardner here in the extra deck, just in case if you can use your opponent's extra mo well, the, the, the zone where let's say um, Shizuku or um, you know, your Jality is, is pointing towards to, so that, that's cool I guess, but um, yeah. Well, it's 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 alter guys, right? So this is the current OCG format. A couple of new cards like the Gizmec, the new Gizmec, Clothheap, and Lightning Storm are definitely um, you know finding their way to the top tier. At least yeah, they need to top tier decks. So again, anxiously awaiting how they are going to um, at least the o how the OCG format is going to develop. Some extra deck lists we were able to find here again. The Sky Striker list. Sky Strikers wasn't mentioned on Road of the King, especially you know they got the new Rose Monster, but it seems that it, it's doing okay. But other decks seem a bit more consistent, better, and um, well, they they need their new Link Monster. The spoilers from Link for Inspect to set or spoiled that they'll be getting a new Link Monster, maybe a new Link Two might make sense with this new rose uh, as well so we'll see how is uh, or at least how that is going to impact them right another thunder list here nothing too spectacular I guess we have seen a previous Thunder list as well. Well, outside of the Thunder um, Kings, Thunder King Ryo here in the main deck. Another Thunder Dragon list with the Super Polymerization as well and Crackdown as well, not to forget. ABCs, good old ABCs. It has been quite a while, but as you know, they got some pieces back in the OCG, but Summon Limit as well. A lot of traps. The Solemn Brigade, Solemn Brigade at full force here in this particular main deck. Triple Nibiru as well and the Summon Limit, as I mentioned before. Then we see Danger Dark World. Well, yeah, it's something that we have uh, experienced in a TCG, somewhat of like a yeah, yeah indeed like a year ago. But um, <laughs> not, not missing this deck at all. It, it's crazy that Kumbla is still legal. 
Ignition, or at least Ignister, Ignister, that's a correct name. Um, it, it seems that Ignister is, is well, not like uh, doing anything in the OCG. Some local uh, stuff, I guess, but outside of that, the deck is quite vulnerable to interruption. It, it needs like a lot of setup, but it, it, it can do some cute, so, some, uh, some cute stuff. So they maybe might get like more support in the future, but um, you know, I think we have to wait for that, right? Uh, and, and like other archetypes, the Senka, I believe, they, they should be in the new set as well, if not mistaken, the, the Karakuris as well, no words, uh, no lists about those. Last but not least, you have two Dracos, but yeah, it's two Dracos, right? Multiple, the Solemn and uh, the Inspector Border, I think, as well, here in the uh, in the main deck as well. So that's pretty much it for the OCG format. So Ignition Assault coming in fresh. Uh, a lot of new tech cards are popping up in the new format, or at least in the new, uh, at least in the current uh, OCG top tier decks. And, um, you know, it's interesting since they'll definitely be the cards for us TCG players to look forward as well. So, okay, guys, that's it. Um, yeah, maybe see you at YCS London this weekend. Uh, definitely stay tuned for the live stream. I'll be commentating with Marcelo Barberi as well a couple of matches during day one on Saturday and day two on Sunday. Okay, uh, that's it. Thanks for, watching. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.